I play on my Switch OLED more than I do any other system, and I own a lot of handhelds, as you might already know, even the Steam Deck. But the Switch OLED just offers a much better form factor for me, and I can do so much on it still. So over the years, I've gathered some of the best accessories I can think of for the Nintendo Switch and the Switch OLED. So these are my favorite accessories. Let's dive right in. So you already know the drill at this point, essentially, when it comes to the Switch OLED. It's almost a completely flat handheld that looks very modern. You get everything that you need for portable play, including that giant screen, the fantastic form factor that I really like, at least, but many would disagree. It is a cartridge-based system with a microSD card slot, and in this case I have a 400GB microSD card that can fit so many games. Now this will last me a long time because I prefer to buy physical games, but it is worth noting that it will last you a good while even if you're mostly digital. I really like the Switch. I've always really liked the Switch and it only got better with the OLED, which is why I want everything ported to it, but there are going to be some games that simply won't be compatible, so I've ac accepted that. I guess. So with that said, here are some of my favorite accessories to complement my experience with the Nintendo Switch OLED. Firstly, we're going to talk about the controllers. So when this Switch is docked, which has been fairly often as of lately, I like to use the Gully Kit King Kong 2 controller. I've gone through plenty of broke style controllers, and this one is my favorite, which is why it looks so used up with all of the finger oil and prints on the exterior of this model. What makes this controller special are going to be the hall sensors for the thumbsticks that prevent drifting, but overall this is shaped like an Xbox controller with a Nintendo layout and triggers. You also got this sweet grip around the handles that really feel great. This is a soft texture body that is taking time to wear down, so I'd say that it's pretty well built. This has been a very solid controller for all types of games with its great usability o overall. However, this isn't the only controller that I like to use while I have my Switch docked, because it depends on the circumstances. So the 8-Bit Do SN30 is a really good controller that's shaped like the SNES controller, but it features a full set of triggers and analog sticks, as well as Switch controls here. But this controller isn't anything like the King Kong 2, as it's a more laid-back controller. It's way smaller with a much more compact form factor overall, which is why I prefer this controller for more laid-back games. I don't play a lot of platformers, so I mostly use it for turn-based games. For example, I've clocked over 100 hours in Persona 5 Royal and haven't even finished my first playthrough using this controller. It's been very reliable for the simpler genres, and while it doesn't feature any hall sensors, it's still a very good controller that I can easily recommend if you're looking for something smaller. It's especially that D-pad that really sells it for me, so definitely look into it if you're in the market. But what about for portable use? Which Joy-Con do I prefer to use with my Switch? Well, that would be this custom aluminum kit from BoxyPixel. This is comprised of machined aluminum everywhere, including the face buttons, so the D-pad is much clickier than before and feels incredibly solid. Same for the ABXY buttons present on the front. There are just so much more satisfying to press because of this construction. I also personally really like that they are shaped exactly like classic Joy-Con because it makes them very compact for portable use. I don't really like a lot of third-party options when it comes to Joy-Con, but they really nailed it over at BoxyPixel. These I paid for completely, so it's not an ad, I promise. They were very expensive, but well worth it for the amount of usage I've given them. And this also isn't an ad, but we will be talking about T-Brand. They make a lot of skins for different devices, and the Switch OLED is one of those devices. I got this honeycomb-style design for my Switch to cover the bezels around the front and the back entirely. It's a full wrap for my Switch, essentially, and I really like how it looks. But it also just feels great in hand. I've had this skin for about two years now, I think, so I guarantee see you that it's a great purchase. Protect your Switch from scratches while customizing it. Still, not an ad. Keep that in mind. Speaking of protecting your Switch, here is a very special carrying case for the Nintendo Switch OLED, specifically from TomTok. They did send this one out to me for review, so thank you for that. This case is very hard and it has this fabric-esque texture to it on the exterior. The interior consists of a very soft material to keep your Switch safe, along with a thick flap that can fit up to 10 games. What I love the most about this case is how compact it is, because it truly is a sight to 
to behold. It's super thin and almost skin tight with a Switch OLED, which makes it perfect for me. When it comes to portability, I really like it and would not use any other case since this is just how I prefer to travel with the Switch. Thanks again for sending this out for review, and now let's move on to the next accessory. So this one is going to be a bit more boring, I want to say, and that's just going to be a storage case for your games. I use this generic one that I don't remember the brand of, and it carries around 24 games additionally while staying pretty compact. I like it, it protects my games, and then lets me travel with more games too in case I forget to include a game that I want to play in my main case. So it's just a nice accessory to have around, really. And finally, we've got the Screwack Cartridge Toggle, as I like to call it. This is a pretty neat accessory that was sent to me for review as well. This one plugs directly onto the Switch, especially if you mostly plan on keeping it docked on your end. Then you can insert multiple cartridges into it and then toggle between them as the main cartridge through the button on top. It makes it so that it's easier to manage your physical library if you're staying docked most of the time, and I really like that. I think that it's a really good idea that I didn't even know we needed to see because it's just so convenient. I can definitely recommend this if you're mostly staying docked. However, I do believe that we've got a decent amount of accessories for portable use and a decent amount for docked use over here, and these are just the ones that I've gathered over the years. So what did you think? Did I miss any accessories? Please let me know in the comments because I would love to do a follow-up video to this one, if anything. Your suggestions would definitely go a very long way in making a part two if people happen to be interested. So what's your favorite Switch accessory? Keep me posted in the comments. And just so that you know, I am going to be leaving affiliate links to everything that I can down below in the description. Uh, the only thing that I can't leave affiliated are going to be the dbrand skin, and also uh, that's going to be the boxy pixel Joy-Con. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead is just leave regular links for those down below. So if you were to use uh, my Amazon links in particular, it would really help with the channel. So I would appreciate that quite a bit. And also please make sure to follow me on Instagram because I do post there every now and then. And yeah, it's just another way of keeping up with Tech Summit and uh, my ventures. So with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and until next time, enjoy.